Good morning, everyone. It's Donna from Thread Treasures Embroidery. I thought I would uh, do another little video. I'm getting ready to uh, digitize a cute little gnome design for Christmas, and I thought I would uh, uh, capture it for you and show you how I do it. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the image, and these are some graphics that I had purchased actually just yesterday. I was looking for a cute little gnome, um, and I'm going to digitize this guy, and he is a PNG uh, with a transparent background so when he comes in uh, the background will be black and that's okay I can work with that so um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this little gray uh, version right here and I'm not gonna do it exactly the way um, this you know graphic is I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put all of the shading in here or not but we're just going to kind of come down here. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And I'm, I'm making sure I get some overlap for this uh, section of the beard make it kind of small I'm gonna change my underlay generate the stitches and then I will go ahead and select the color from the catalog. Um, I use Marathon. So I'm going to do this pale gray color. Now some of this other over here, I'm going to lay down uh, a little bit of a shading here. Try to get it as close as I can to this size or you know the way it was um, I'm gonna come up here and we'll try to follow this around as much as possible although this is gonna be covered up by the beard so it doesn't have to be perfectly on top but we do want it to show in this area And I'm going to remove all of the underlay here because, like I said, this is going to be a shading. I'm going to make this density, um, let's look at 10 first. And I'm going to put a slight angle on it. And let's generate it and see how this looks. looks pretty good so we're going to go ahead and uh, select the color from the catalog we're going to do the traditional gray which is going to be just slightly uh, lighter than the uh, pale gray that we did before so it'll give that extra little bit of shading in there I may even change this parameter real quick Oops. Uh, do the density I may go up to um, 12 to see how I like it make a little bit more of the back show through I think that'll work okay go back to where I can see the image um, next I'm going to do the red of this glove right here so let's scroll over here zoom in let's start right here
Now, I don't want to put too much red under where the beard's going to be because uh, the white will have a hard time um, covering up the red. So we're going to try to keep it as close as possible, but still make sure that we have coverage. I'm going to put my start point here. And this is going to be my end point. Generate the stitches. Do a little running stitch from this point up to here. And then start this. We're going to join these three, um, and we're going to make it a red color. Now we can see what that looks like, and let's simulate it and make sure it's acting the way I want it to. It's going to end where I want to, and the other little uh, fill part will start and end where I want it to, so. I need to work on the start position of this, so. Um, let me hide this. And I'm just going to simulate, let me uncreep this, simulate where this starts. Okay, so I will take this and I'll edit this and I will take it up and over. And I do not believe that that's going to cause any kind of thread cut right there. So, Okay, next we're going to do uh, the darker layer of the beard. So this is going to be a fill stitch. And we're just going to kind of go around this area here. And I do want to kind of keep it on the outline. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just working our way around. And we're still working around this part of the beard. Oops, make that down here. And we're almost finished with this portion. And then we'll be able to uh, kind of backtrack in. We don't need to fill out all of this. Oops, I'm sorry. I did some mistakes here. I went too far on this. So we're just going to delete these nodes here. The color is so uh, 
close that I couldn't really tell where that ended and it's gonna be right here so I am gonna take it inside a little bit of the lighter color and this is gonna be close so I don't have to worry so much it'll, it'll hide under the white Change my underlay. And I'll go ahead and change the color. I know that it's um, going to be probably, I'm going to use Pellist Ivory here. Do a quick edit right here and move this out a little bit make it more rounded and then we're ready to start on this white portion so um, we will start keep it close to the red and then bring it to about here take this around here changing the underlay I'm going to change the angle of this to be just slightly not straight and we're going to make this uh, color cloud dancer it's a lighter color and as you can see right there you will see uh, what it's looking like thus far put the end point of this up here there so now I have this uh, little patch of skin color that I'm going to do out so or into the red of the hat real quick and I'm going to insert a node right here I'm going to make this the end point and generate the stitches and I'm also going to do uh, the little portion of the nose And I'm going to turn this into an auto column. I think that it'll fit in there. Whoops. I'll have to convert this to a column. Delete the original and then make this a, um, a wide column.
trying to find a good skin color here. Blossom. That works. So now I'm going to uh, work on the red. And I'll just start here. Oops. Went in a little too far. And we're just going to follow on around. And we're just going on around. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the lighter color shading in here or not. It all just depends. But for right now, I am working on the hat. I do think I will put the darker dots in here, though. Because I think they look kind of cute. change my underlay. We're going to make this uh, the red color that we used before. We're also going to um, do a red band here that they have. And we're going to angle this to be 90 degrees. And since this is going on uh, so many layers already, I'm going to remove any underlay on here because we just, uh, we won't need it. And I'll make this the same color. Let's look at it. It's looking kind of cute. Let's go ahead and put this um, other... Um, there's enough here that... Oops. I think I should punch a hole for this red here. So I'm selecting the big white part of the beard and I'm going to cut a hole around this So now we have uh, this part, and we will go ahead and do the, the little uh, mitten hand. it will be the same color of red. We will 
will stick the little um, black part that I guess is the uh, handle for the candy cane. We're going to go ahead and put this in here. And then we will go ahead and do this up here. Again, also making this column. And we will look at this and see, yeah, that looks all right. We will make it a uh, black color or dark gray, which is what Marathon calls theirs. Now we will work on this uh, lollipop. And I'm not going to do the shading on it because I'm not going to make it white. I'm going to make it green and red. And let's do like a See what a 15 degree angle looks like. Hmm. Let's put the end point right here. Okay, I like that going to pick a, let's do a peppermint color. And then now, I'm going to see how this is going to look to do this red really quickly. I can live with that, but we are, uh, let's see what color we're going to actually use. about strawberry. Now for um, the bubbles or the, the polka dots on the, the jacket uh, or on his hat, we're going to just kind of, oops, can't do that. Um, I'm going to put a shape in here of a circle and I'm going to delete the outer ring. I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to actually take off um, the underlay for it. Generate the stitches and I'm also going to make it the same uh, strawberry color. So I will take this one and I will control C and control V to paste it and I'm going to drag it over here and I'm just uh, going to move it around to a couple of different places. Now there's another one up here. It's uh, kind of off the edge. It's a little bit smaller so I can resize that. Um, here's another one. Let's resize it, add it here, uh, generate the stitches. We're going to copy and paste this one and make it even smaller. Copy and paste, put it over here, and one last one down here. So we are going to see what it looks like. So this is our little gnome uh, for Christmas. I think he looks uh, fairly cute. Uh, the part of the cap, I am going to edit him. I'm going to ins take this curve node and actually insert a point and uh, make this the ending point. And let's change the angle of this down, say 10 degrees. 
I like that. I can live with this. So I'm actually going to delete my image. Go ahead and set my hoop size to what it should be, which is a 5 by 7 hoop for this. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to select everything and actually bring it to the center. Um, so this design is actually uh, a little over 4 inches by 6.83 inches tall. Um, I'm going to call this one good. So I'm grouping these together and group the light colors together. So um, this is a cute little gnome design that will be perfect for uh, some of your Christmas stitching. Hope you like this video and we will talk to you later. Bye.